Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over geo charts in Data Studio and really only one use case of geo charts and that is showing different maps of the world. And we can do this with a series of different metrics, but I'm just gonna use a data set today that we all have access to on uh, Data Studio or Looker Studio as it's now called this week. So I'm gonna start off by pulling in a data set. I've got a sample data set here, which is uh, world population data 2005 to 2014. That should be in everybody's um, data. So you just go to add data in here and um, you can go to my data sources and you should have sample data here. There is this sample world population data. So just pick that and add it to the report. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly something that I'm finding quite useful at the moment, especially I deal with different clients. So it's getting people's logos and stuff into a chart. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload from my computer uh, just a picture in here. And I make all these on Canva if you're seeing, if you're wondering where I make any of this stuff. So I've got this kind of tag, which is the GeoMaps Data Studio. I'm going to drag this across the top. So that's what's gonna be my header. And what I can do now is I can use that to design my team, which is really, really useful, right? So if I go into team and layout here, I'm going to extract a theme from image. And I can upload this from my computer or you can do this from a URL if you've got a team there. So I'm just gonna pick this one here, I'm gonna open it. And this will give me three options. So it's gone through this image and said, right, we're gonna get three teams here. We can have this one, this one, darker one, or the lighter one. It's gonna choose a darker one here and I'm gonna apply this. And you can see that it applies a background and then all the charts I select will be applied with that theme. So I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Next thing I'm gonna do is, I don't like this scrolly bit, so what I'll do is I'll go into my layout and just adjust the canvas size a little bit so I can see everything on one screen. So I'm just gonna change this to 750 and you can see now that that's come up there. So I'm gonna add a chart and I'm gonna just focus on the geo chart here. The Google Maps charts are pretty cool. I'm gonna go over those um, another time, but let's just do the geo chart for now because there's a really nice use case on this that I just wanna cover in one standalone video. So I've got a world map here there's no country with uh, 13 billion people in it yet. So obviously this is taken in a bunch of different, um, it's taken in a bunch of different years. So I'm gonna just add a filter to this. I'm gonna call it year filter and just see what I've done here. I've included the year parameter that's equal to 2014. And this was taken 2005, 2014, but we're just interested in one year. And then we have the maximum population of being 1.36 billion, which I assume is China. Yeah, so China and India are the two big population centers. So there's a number of different things you can do with this map. This map is a little underpowered compared to the Google Maps, uh, but it's still there's still some super useful things you can do with this. Um, we've got optional metrics that can come in here, metric sliders. What we're gonna be looking at here is the metric sliders. I'm gonna turn this on and I'm not gonna use it yet because it's we have the whole world here, but as I show you kind of this um, zoom area, um, we're gonna be playing around with metric sliders quite a bit. So just onto the style. So there's not a whole lot in the style, but what we can do is we can add kind of a different background of borders. We can change the max color value, min color value, and mid color value. So just to show you that quickly, say I wanted this green here, I could do um, green as my top value. If I don't pick the other two, this kind of does what I wanted to do anyway, but we could just change this to the mid value and this one to the min value. And it's kind of similar, but probably a little bit better. You can change the different colors as well. If you want like a traffic light system, you could have say green as the top value, you could have orange is the mid value, and then you could have red as the low value, and that looks super weird. So let's just change them back to the way they were. So I'm happy enough with this. You can do another couple of things. You can add a border shadow in there. Uh, maybe we want to do a black border, and we can do that and kind of a to uh, to width in there so that's your general map it's pretty it's useful enough right so you've got 
you got your world and you've got your tooltips. You can't really change, unlike Tableau or something like that, you can't really change what's in those tooltips. But where this, I think, gets super useful and the use case I want to go over today is um, this zoom area here. So say I want to take four regions of the world and I want to um, show them all on this kind of world map. So I'm not interested in the world as we're seeing here. This is kind of max China and everything else is kind of min. You got, you got the US, you got Indonesia, you got Nigeria. They're kind of big populations, but like generally in the same neighborhood, you can't really see too much of a difference. Say South America here all looks the same color, even though it is quite different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this into a smaller depiction of the world and I'm going to use my zoom area and what you can do with zoom area is you can go to you've got the world but then you've got subcontinents and you've got continents right so we don't have enough space to go through all the different subcontinents let's just go through continents and you can probably see where this would be useful if you've got a worldwide sales organization and you want to break it down into different regions this is super cool for doing that in a very easy to view way i would suggest putting this on kind of the front page of a of a, of a dashboard um, and then have people kind of drill into different parts uh, into the rest of the dashboard but let's just go start with africa so we've got Africa here, but we still have our problem of we've got this big, crazy scale here going from 10,000 people to 1.36 billion people, where um, I believe Nigeria is the highest population with 178 million. So what we turned on earlier was the metric slider, and we can use this metric slider in order to change each dashboard um, to change the scale of the color on that dashboard. So if I change this from 1.36 to 180 million, I don't know if I got that right. I think I did. And then you can see, right, I've got an African scale here. It's taken my top, it's taken the bottom, and I can scale it up. And I can see, right, we can really see what the population centers are like in Africa now. What I could do is just duplicate that and just put it in for the all the different um, all the different continents I'm interested in. I'm just going to pull this one in here. Pull that there. So that was Africa. Um, let's go to my next continent here. And instead of Africa, I'm going to look at the Americas. And I'm sorry, Oceania, I don't have space for a fifth. But let's look at the Americas. Uh, again, we have what's our highest country in here is the US. Let's just change this metric slider again, if we can find it, to 320 million. And this gives us a much better depiction of the Americas. Now, obviously dominated by America, uh, the US and Brazil, but you can kind of see different, different countries in here have different scales. And then we can just duplicate this again for my other regions. I'm going to do this a bit faster because we've seen it already. So Asia, we can't really change the scale because we've got the two big boys in there, China and India. But you can see that Indonesia in there and you've got Japan as well. So that's huge population center in and around there. So you might want to break off. Uh, you might want to break off this part here. And then finally, we can duplicate this again and we go to my region, uh, which is Europe, which has a really low population compared to everywhere else uh, individually. So you got Russia there is the big boy with 143. We have the top is 143 and you can really see the huge countries in here with the big population, right? This is part of Russia. That's why that's black. I was wondering, Jesus, what is that country that everybody's crammed into? Uh, but you've got Germany, which is the next biggest. You've got the UK, you've got Spain, you've got Italy. So that's the basically what I wanted to show you today. I think this is a really nice functionality. You can zoom in, you can zoom out on different parts of the world and different subcontinents as well. Uh, and I think that's a really powerful thing just to show as a one pager or something that you could bring into your PowerPoint presentations as well. So next week, we're going to go over more Google Maps which has a lot more functionality and fairness, but I just wanted to show you this geo map because I think it's pretty cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, ask down below, and I'll see you very soon for another Google Data Studio or now Looker Data Studio tutorial.